All right, guys, this is my third session today. I'm going to be trying to do like maybe even five sessions today. Um, we're going to be playing the Waffenschrager, Waffenschrager, Alf Panzer, um, however you say this thing fully, right, in German. I'm part German, part Italian, but like I'm European, right, guys? I'm uh, now American. But um, I always try and pronounce my German tanks at least kind of close to, to what they're actually called. Um, but the Waffle Panzer, right, guys? Tier 9, absolutely incredible DPM. TD, and um, this thing is just really, really fun to play, man. I really enjoy it. Um, I do actually run it with the improved hardening class two in that second slot for survivability, and we run the rammer in the first slot and also the rammer directive, and then I have um, mobility improvement system tier three, so the third version of this, and I think this is actually very good for this vehicle, right? I really enjoy this setup. I think you get a little bit more HP out of this, and it helps you take one more shot because a lot of people like to fling HP at you as soon as you're lit um, and then the rammer and also the the mobility improvement system this helps with um, moving around a little bit quicker to help one side of the map or the other it's why i love playing the kanonen Yogpanzer 105 because it can move around so quick uh, but the dpm is just a little bit lacking on this vehicle you can see but this thing has insane dpm i don't even have a second setup on it i'm so confident running this setup for every map um, and then also this helps a little bit with dispersion as well right so it's kind of like an all-in-one I think the experimental equipment is almost OP. It's like borderline OP. Um, but that's how I decided to run this setup, guys. I have gone back and forth with different setups. I did at one point run like optics on it. I was running um, the improved aiming on it. And I was trying to figure out like what exactly I wanted. I also ran turbo at one point. But I really, really like this setup. I think it works really well for me. And so I kept it this way. Um, again, the DPM on this vehicle is insane. The dispersion is pretty good. The aiming time is pretty good. This thing just doesn't feel very snappy because the turret turns so slow. And so you kind of have to predict that. Like if someone's pushing you, you have to turn the whole tank. You have to turn the whole of the tank with the turret um, so that people can't press into you. The concealment on stationary is fine the view range is actually pretty good for a tank destroyer but i don't run optics again because i'd rather um, use a mobility improvement and also a survivability improvement so that when i have to be aggressive i can get aggressive because the thing with this tank what i've noticed is like because of the turrets in the back you can get fancy with this thing and just use the dpm as your armor if that makes sense so like say you have a building like like this you know and there's like a little bush here even if there's not a bush here you can back out and you you know have your gun facing like this way you back out shoot and pull back and you can use that to your advantage um or if you have people behind you which you kind of need support with this vehicle wait for them to take a shot or wait for the enemy to shoot them and then you poke out and bang because look guys you have um ammo the APCRs, which does lose pen over distance, 352 millimeters of pen, right? And 276 on the standards, and this is a tier nine. And then the explosives do have 60, the high explosives have 65 pen, which is okay, but they do 700 freaking damage. So like you have a tank that not only has good DPM, but good damage per shot. So try and use that to your advantage. You don't even need to run this freaking cannon on it. You know, um, just run the 12, eight, right? Run the 12, eight centimeter and I'm telling you, man, the DPM is just like, <laughs> it's insane. It's absolutely insane, guys, like how much damage you can cause if a team is pressing in, like within 30 seconds, you could be doing like 1500 freaking damage. You know what I mean? It's 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 incredible. So we're going to play this tank. Um, I'll show you the crew. I do have full concealment, um, full intuition, situational awareness, snapshot, smooth ride, and recon, and then almost full brothers in arms. We're very close to it, and that is getting us... Um, this for concealment, this for view range, 425 view range, 23% for moving is actually still pretty good given the high caliber of this thing, right? Um, and then you have decent dispersion and also um, incredible DPM and aiming time, etc. The only thing that sucks about this is the gun depression. Your gun elevation is fine. You have no gun depression out the front. Like this is literally as low as the gun goes. And so even out the back, it's not great, but you need to position this thing. This is why this thing cannot really brawl like you can kind of do it but it gets so awkward because the turret turns so slow and you have no freaking gun depression out the front that you have to get creative with how you get aggressive with this thing basically hopefully that made sense um let's get into the games guys we'll see how we can perform in this vehicle and actually real quick i just want to make sure diesel is our new um 
like leader of this clan and i popped boosters man and he literally demoted me because i popped boosters twice and um there's like strict rules kind of now with it he um re-promoted me again i just reached out to him i'm like hey man my apologies um but you know at the same time like I've been in this clan since the start, so I really don't want to be a junior officer if you can pr pr like promote me again. But I just wanted to check real quick the uh, clan tab because I think we're supposed to get these. I don't know why we can't claim these automatically, but we have to keep claiming these. And I really just think that's kind of dumb, but whatever, man. Um, there we go. So let's get into the games, guys, and let's see how well we can do with this vehicle. Again, I don't play tank destroyers that much, but this is my favorite tank destroyer in the game the Waffle Panzer. I sucked with the Gorilla 15 because the Gorilla 15 is one of those like, you have to be, you're, you're like a mobile arty almost, right? Like not really, but you have to be very mobile with the Gorilla 15 and I just didn't like that. It's not that I don't like being mobile and slightly aggressive. It's just with the Gorilla Man, it's like, it's just an interesting tank, man. And as I researched it more, like you really have to play it almost like this like hybrid tank destroyer, like almost like medium type you know, like where you're just coming around a corner, just freaking smacking someone for 750 and backing up, you know. But I just didn't like it because you can't turn the turret all the way. You know, it doesn't really have good concealment. It's just a very awkward freaking tank to play, man. And I didn't like that. I really, really didn't like that. But some people love that style. You know, they run in, smack someone in the face and then run away. It's like you can kind of play it like that, I guess. You have to be a lot more mobile, a lot more aggressive, a lot more active. And I didn't like that. I like playing this thing, though. But some maps are tricky like this one might be a little tricky i'm gonna try and go here just see what we can do from there and the fun thing about this tank is with this gun at least you have 45 degrees of gun elevation it's so, like it can literally go up you know at 45 degrees which is insane here's another waffle panzer So 90 degrees would be like literally straight up, if that gives you an understanding of how high you can raise this gun. But look at the gun depression in the front. It's basically an RD. Like, look at that. It has no freaking gun depression in the front. It's like literally almost zero. So that's why you have to be really creative. We're going to see if we can support this even. I'm going to start turning my gun already. Because this is how you have to play it. That should make the even think twice about the play he's making. Good. Clean up the even. Not spotted from that. And that'll give our even an advantage. K91 is pushing in here. Let's see if we can get a shot to this guy. There we go. Pull back because we might get spotted from that. No. I'm not going to shoot any of the buildings. I'm going to wait for this guy to start moving again. There he is. Okay. Shouldn't be spotted from that because his view range was behind the building, or his um, cap, rather, right? So, okay, he's going back behind the rocks, and now I'm going to start kind of moving away from here because the Centurion's pushing our 122. Our 122 has no DPM. And the Udez is also pushing in. I don't want to be caught out here. Let's see if we can maybe tag this guy. Yeah. Didn't think so. Okay. We need to get back fast, fast, fast. I'm going to load the APCR, start turning my gun back. I want to help this 122 TM if I can. go and now we can come all the way back as the hori and waffle get pushed we can actually shoot over this wall i don't know if you guys are aware of this you can actually come way up and shoot over this wall so i'm going to hope that these guys can stay alive just another minute and we can get shots going over this wall like so Let's 
see. Good. Clean up the Type 57. You are spotted from that. Ouch. Okay, E3 gets a shot into us. That's fine. We need to start running away from here, though. Given F7 out, we've done 2,800 damage. I think that's pretty good so far. And I want to sit right here. Kind of hold this corner. These heavies shouldn't really be pushing. They should just be holding this and trying also to help the T-54. Like, go this way, dude. Help that guy. I'm going to hold from this side so that we don't get flanked. Our evens on the cap. I guess that'll throw them off a little bit. Okay, Yudez went mid, which is kind of a problem. But, like, where are these guys is the question. They're challenging him well. The two mediums went back to the cap. Okay, that's informative. Let's stick with our team then. Let's see if we can eliminate this panzer. I'm just going to poke right on him. Ooh. E3. That's the E3 on the base. I totally forgot about the E3. We got hit by him, but he wasn't spotted on the maps. <sighs> Come on, guys. Come on. Like I can't I can't buy a team when I play this tank, man. Like they gotta push into this guy. He's alone. We're now a one shot to the E3 though. I should have went the other way, because we're spotted before my gun is even there. So, that's unfortunate, man. He held that. He, he put himself in the perfect location, though, honestly, where I could not spot him if I poked the bush. Yeah. Is what it is, man. I think we did what we needed to do in this game. Once the E3 was on cap, I think that, you know, if the Panzer didn't hit me, I would have been able to take one more from the E3, so we would have been able to get one reset. But uh, they needed to eliminate this Panzer, man. Like, I don't know why they're they're, they're just playing with this guy. Like, you got to go and get him, man. Even if one of these guys dies, it's better to eliminate this guy, you know, because he's a big issue sitting where he is. If I knew the mediums were going to go back to the cap, I would have sat right here in uh, K0. But if the E3, the Centurion, and the, the Lisp all pushed me at once, sitting there would have been dumb, because they can kind of push up like this without my team being able to really help me. They don't have the angle. See how the way this is, like, formed here? You can see at the bottom. See how that's, like, you can't get a shot. Like, they'd have to be, like, here to help me, kind of. That's just the way the map kind of works. But we gave it our best shot, right guys? I mean, 2800 damage is not awful. So we've played four in the T100 LT, four in the T50 today. I don't think we've done that bad. I really don't. This is the comment I was waiting for. Mike Alpha. G2 
you guys are watching this part of the video, AP corrects five degrees, APCR is three degrees, and heat is zero. So that's normalization for you. I'm really, if you guys know this stuff, like comment. So I don't have to look it up myself. Like I ask you guys certain questions. I start asking about normalization. That guy responded. So that's why APCRs bounce more often than APs. And that's why heats have to hit flat. Like flat AF, man. If they don't hit flat, then it's, it's very likely that they won't pin. So the heat is much better for like cheeks of the mouse, cheeks of the E100, that kind of thing. You know, if this RHM had armor, this, this side of the RHM, flat, very flat pieces of armor, the front of this right here, flat, flat, you want flat. Okay, our LT is kind of taking a passive location here. I'm going to sit right here. Actually going to sit like this. Maybe our Scorpion can spot something. I don't know. He's kind of out there by himself, though. I was going to go out there, but our LT is very passive. So. He, he's going to counter this guy, but he's not going to really do much else for us. So. Try and put my gun where it needs to be. I don't think he has CVS, because if I'm moving here and he's right there, I feel like I'll probably get spotted for that. Yeah, this is going to be a problem, man. This is why it's better to put yourself, if you're a light tank player, it's always better. Can't believe that doesn't go in, man. The 277s are, have ridiculous armor. It's always better to put yourself out here or in this bush line, man. Always, always, always. Because if you don't, this is what happens. So I'm going to start running now. It's just the Scorpion and the LT back here. We need to get out of here now. Because I'm not a T100 LT. I need to like leave right now. Look, the S1 is ahead already has shots on me because the LT is there. So we need to run this way. Throw out an F7. And like just pray that we can actually get out of here in time, right? Trying to get one shot off there, maybe, to help, but... Like, we might not even be able to get out of here in time. That's that's how fast these guys took this location of the map. And I don't even want to wait here. We need to try and get out entirely. Hoping the LT doesn't light me here. We're like, right on the edge, probably. Come all the way back. And yeah, not a great start, right, man? Not a great start at all. My turret just doesn't turn fast enough. Damn, I didn't think I'd be spotted from that. I really did not think I'd be spotted from that. What a freaking stomp this was, man. Wild. To see like where everyone is, I need an overview. So we do not have any easy shots right now. Good, he goes 
those down. I'm trying to use my DPM as much as I possibly can. Where are all these shots, man? tough. We're just all staying very safe. It sucks, man. I can't help anybody. I'm going to load the APCRs and try and focus right here where the E75 is and help him. Like if people poke this corner. Hands. Good shot by the E75, man. This is just a slaughter, guys, and, like, it's so unfortunate that literally everybody was in areas where they were safe from shots um, for me and the Su-130, right? Like, I was trying my best to look for shots. I'm looking all over the place, and we just... This was just a slaughter, man. But unfortunately, we didn't have, like, any shots there. Everyone was just, like, terrified. They're all trying to do the proper thing instead of just pushing in. Finally, we get a shot in the lance in there at the end, but we get lit. So... It is what it is, man. Like, there's there's nothing we could have done to bring this game back, but I would have liked to get at least, like, two more shots off so we can have a decent game. And this is why, this is the reason why I can't mark this thing, right, guys? It's just because the games don't allow for it. Like, I keep getting into these games where it's either we absolutely demolish the enemy team and I don't have time to get to do damage, or we get demolished ourselves and it's like you have... There's so many enemy tanks that you can get like one, maybe two shots off and you're slaughtered, you know, you're pushed instantly. Like there's just not enough close games. If I can get some close games, man, I mean, there's games where I, it's not uncommon for me to do like 5k damage in this thing, you know, if people are exposing themselves. Because again, the DPM is ridiculous. You guys don't understand, like if you haven't played this thing, if you have people pushing into you, but there's at least a couple of tanks, like a couple of friendlies that can hold those tanks away for a little bit, you could literally rip the absolute shit out of people, man, with this tank. I'm telling you, like, with the APCRs especially, like, it's just like, doom, 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 and the gun sounds really good. And before you know it, you're doing four, five, six, I've had a few 7,000 plus damage games, but it's just not enough, right? It's not enough to continue to bring this up, right? And so I tried putting optics on it, because I'm like, alright, well, if I put optics on it, then I can spot. But, like, you're never in situations where you're spotting, really. If you put yourself there, you usually die too early. So I've been trying this, guys. Like, I, I we're at 89%. We, I was up to 91% at one point on the mark, but I just don't think I'm going to get it. I think it just requires, for me at least, a little more luck, you know? For other people that have a little more skill, I'm sure they can manage to get that one more shot off and they can mark the tank. But consistently, it's just a lot of games, I cannot get that one more shot off that I want to get off. We're gonna get slaughtered over here too, it looks like. Yep. So here we go again, right guys? So I'm looking to get one shot off if I can from this location before we get pressed. And it doesn't even look like that's gonna happen. So now we need to run away. We've already lost the side of the map. In a minute and a half flat, we've lost this side of the map. If you could believe it.
and I'm probably going to come back to here, I think. Looks like the uh, T95E6 is going to do the same thing. I think it's the best location to defend the base from, in my eyes. I'm going to support him in that area. You can actually drive up this, by the way, if you're in a light tank, if you have enough momentum, but we can't do it in this vehicle. I've, I've done it before. You have to angle your tank perfectly, though. Like, you kind of have to, like, go up sort of sideways and then turn your tank as you go up. It might only be possible on, like, something like the T100LT, though. Like, you need a lot of momentum to do it. But I've done it. I promise you guys, I have done it before. Look at this, man. We can't even get up here in time. Like, holy shit, dude. <sighs> like, give me a break, man, with this. This is just ridiculous, man. Of course. Of course. <laughs> you guys see, like, the situations I get put in with this vehicle? This is why I cannot mark this tank, man. I mean, we bounce the batch out. Where do we bounce on the batch out? I haven't a clue, man. Like, we can't even get away from here in time. This is the... These are the examples I'm talking about, guys. Where, like, I just cannot get good situations with this tank. Like, the, the, the E6 left me. Rather than trying to fight with me, he left me there. By myself. He goes around. And it's like, come on, bro. Like, you know, and... and, and this game could still be close, but it's just like we lost this entire side of the map, and rather than this guy help me a little bit, he freaking runs around and flanks, which wasn't the worst play, but then it leaves me wide open to get absolutely wrecked by these guys. So, I guess we'll just watch this one from the T-54D or whatever, but uh, this is this is what I mean about this tank, man, and it, it really fucking pisses me off, man. Like, I, I can't explain to you guys how much this annoys me. These situations that are just so, like, unpredictable, man. Losing literally the entire side of the map in two minutes. And I just, I'm not fast enough to get away, right? This tank is just too awkward. I'm able to kind of fight off the bat chat, right? And then we're running away, and the support just isn't there, right? Like, I go to help this guy, and he freaking dips and goes to flank, man. It's like, come on, man. Like, give me a freaking break with this vehicle, man. So, ultimately, though... It's, it's on me for not adjusting faster. Like, maybe I should have even come back further and just, like, kept going. You know what I mean? Back. So, but you just can't, you just never know, man. Like, I'm coming up to try and get one more shot off as these guys are pushing in, and I get lit pu pulling up. So, it's, just, it's, like, so hard to predict, man. You know? How these things are going to go. I get pressed by both vehicles. We just got wrecked, and and bouncing the batch at 25T just added to it, right? Like if we had if we didn't bounce the batch at 25T, he wouldn't have gotten this last shot into me. We would have gotten away, but we bounce him. So like add RNG to the mix, right? Like how the fuck do you bounce a batch at 25T? I must have hit his gun, right? Like it is what it is, man. But, but yeah, this thing like I really like it. It just pisses me off when I get into these situations, guys. And there's just absolutely nothing I can do, right? Other than just run away even more. But, like, the, the freaking um, team is so bad. They can't even hold one side of the map for two minutes. You know? So. Oh, man. Is it, is it the most frustrating thing? But I think we can still win this game. Right? I think we kind of have the uh, upper hand here, maybe. T-30 should not have hugged this guy. Because it's actually making it harder for this guy to help him. Might have actually been a good play, maybe. Okay, beautiful. And so, like, 
it's a good thing that this side of the map did well, right? They brawled it out well. We still have our 60 TP alive, our T30, our Tiger Mouse. Like, we should be able to win this. Especially because the CC and T30 are probably caught out in the mid now. I don't think they can get away in time. 60 TP will poke this, and T54 is there. Good. Watch the T30, man. Yeah, there he is. This isn't a good play for him, because he's going to get hit. He has the... He has the T-54D at his back, so... And look, look at the CC, man. He's going to have to take one of the CC. Okay, CC misses. Good, we won the game. But again, like, just such a freaking annoying scenario for us to be in, right? And a really, really annoying scenario, because, like, my support just left me, right? And it's not like it was a bad play, necessarily, to go around and flank them. With both guys looking at me, you know, but like we we definitely took one for the team there, we absolutely took one for the team, and uh, I guess sometimes it's just the way it goes, right? But it it absolutely infuriates me. So this is the one we bounced. We literally ricocheted off of this little guy, this this little freaking like commander's or driver's hatch here. Like, what are the chances I hit that? Where we. Based on where we aimed, you know, like any other spot, we could have hit this guy in the turret and it, it, we get a ricochet. Like, what do you guys think the chances of that shot hitting this little location were? But that's, that's what I experienced, especially again, what I told you guys with the APCRs, right? So I was really hoping this was going to be a good session, but we're averaging after three battles, 1500 damage. And like, this is brutal, man. But let's hope this um, fourth game is good. And maybe we'll play five. I just want to mark this thing. I get really angry when I don't perform well and it's not so much my fault, right? No. In terms when I at least when I play tank destroyers, that's the case. When I play lights and I know it's not my fault, I don't get mad. But with this thing when I, I it's just like I can't like there was literally almost nothing else I could have done that game other than just keep trying to run away instead of trying to help the T95E6 T or whatever it was, you know? Like, we, we literally were all the way back at the base within the first two minutes of the game. So let us hope we can we can actually have a game where we can kind of stay alive for a little while. We have only one person going over here, the Borisk, and then it's going to be me and the G-Sor. So hopefully we can support this guy well. I'm going to try my best to support this guy. I actually want to go like right here. So we have shots going towards the mid. There's a bush right here that I like. Yeah, it's this one right here. This is usually where I like sitting. Because you get shots going here, too. Right here. I just missed. Kind of not even fully covered here. I'm going to knock this tree. Like that. Would be good to poke kind of like this. Man, what a frustrating session this has been. <laughs> what a frustrating session.
infuriating session, guys. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, man. Unreal how that doesn't go through, man. This freaking Russian, the sides of those Russian tanks are ridiculous. <sighs> oh my god, man. Oh my god. Like, give me a break, please. Please give me a break with this crap. There goes the Cobra. Should be able to clean this guy up. If the RNG behaves, good. Good. Spotted for that. I want to poke up in the same location. Where's this gap? Right there. Okay, clamp the BZ. I am spotted, which would tell me that the AMX 1390 is probably closing in. I'm gonna start going over here so we have better shots at these boys. And so that the, these guys can kind of cover me, I guess. Let's see if we get lit going through this gap. Okay, because so that would be good info as well. I'm going to knock this tree and they're going to be able to see it, but it's fine. Good. Spotted? Or no? No? Gonk. Good. Should just loaded the APs. I 
see the guy behind me. I'm gonna try and get the shot. Not enough time. Gotta get some spawning on him at least. 2950 damage, guys. 986 assist. We're gonna play one more, man. Because I, I really think we just have really bad RNG and, um, like, matchmaking. And I'd like to try and make up for that. I think we did okay here, man. It's just like, holy shit, the RNG at the beginning of this game. I thought we would have hit that shot into the AMX wasn't quite quick enough. And then, like, hitting the back of the E50, the, the shell just goes way low on the BZ. And then it started turning around. We ended with 3,400 damage. So you see what I mean with this tank? Like, it doesn't take long for you to rack up a lot of damage. We just haven't had those kinds of games, unfortunately. But even with, with this, we're still at 2K damage, man. So if you get into the right games, I'm telling you, like, you can absolutely annihilate an enemy team as long as you're in the right games. Like, these games have just been so weird, man. The support hasn't been great. Like, well, I guess I am the support, but I mean, like, the teams have just been janky, right? Like, it's just very... see if we can perform well i'm so glad we won that game on oyster bay man because if we lost it i would have been really pissed off because i would have felt like if i was able to get away from that situation from that encounter we would have won it so i'm glad we we won it so like i, I don't feel bad so what i actually like doing i leave the south open now i don't go over there i come back to behind where this um like bridges and I sit on the bridge, I load APCRs, and I um, try and hit people that are trying to stay hold down in that little gap of the broken houses. And it kind of counters that. And you can also get people that might poke here, support the heavies. Because I personally believe that the north is more important on this map. I can't really explain why, I just feel like it is. like right here I think it is you have a shot see this TS-54 pokes here it'll be tough to hit this guy but I can load like HE too and just like spank him and it keeps them from kind of like getting comfortable there if, it, if I can actually hit a fucking shot dude this session like what the shit We don't even have anyone trying to counter this TS-54 either. Oh my god, man. I'm so done with this freaking RNG. I'm, I'm so done with this RNG, man. This has been the worst RNG I've I've experienced in this thing in in a session. This wall is too high and I cannot help these guys. I'm just going to go here, accept my loss, you know.
Oh my god, dude. I really need these shells to go in, dude. This guy should be behind buildings. hold this right here. This guy will poke. I know he will poke it. Just don't want to get spotted by anybody else. I'll poke this. I know it. <laughs> I'm just playing greedy at this point, guys. Honestly, like, this is, this is just, like... I don't feel like I'm really helping the team that much. But I'm going to try and come back up and do so. Turn this way. Good, we're spotting. Really dumb play on his part. Okay, I come back up. So this spot kind of works, guys. It's just like, it depends on the, the situation, right? Optics would be much more helpful in this situation, but... I'm actually surprised that didn't go in. It's good that these guys are coming after me, though. I'd, I'd actually prefer this because it leaves, like, all these guys open to, you know, basically do what they need to do, right? Like, we might have actually won this game just because everyone has a hard-on for me, right, is what I'm saying. I'm trying to get in this corner because I know the T-30 can't jump on me because there's a broken tank here. Wow. Okay, I'll take this one from the T-30. I think the Tiger beats my reload though. 
unfortunately. Yeah, just barely. So it is what it is, man. These guys literally gave up, like, their tanks to come after me, right? And so, like, I'm very happy with the way this game turned out, though. Oh, these guys were just bad, man. Like, they're literally throwing the game away to come after me. And um, we made it work from this corner, right? We were able to continue poking up, kind of spotting people, getting some assist from it. Um, and also letting the team know, like, look, everyone has a hard on for me. They're coming after me, right? And now it's just the Tiger with 32 HP. And we have a team of, like, five or six guys that can now come after this dude, right? So... I think this worked out pretty well for our last game. 37, 41 damage, 335 assist. Um, we're back to almost where we started on the mark, but I'm still just very unhappy with the way this session went, man. Just a lot of bad RNG and weird situations. I thought it was going to be a great session to bring you guys, but I ended up just being very, very frustrated in this in this uh, session, and I do apologize. But it's the reality of the game, right, guys? Like, when things don't go your way, it's extremely frustrating. We did have four kills this game, and we did a number of kills the last game, too. So, like, stats-wise, I feel okay about it but like it's not always all, all about stats right guys it was just a very frustrating session regardless of what the stats look like um and i just hate frustrating sessions but like you got to get over yourself man right 4297 damage is what we end up with we did hit a blind shot on i guess it was the t25 right we even killed him so we know that and our borisk did really really well um almost a unicorn i guess it's like take on unicom and he pretty much is 9k wtr that's about where i'm at i would i would call myself almost a unicom or maybe just below almost a unicom right um anyway guys we ended with uh, 2466 damage which, which is i average around 2600 damage so this isn't that bad all things considered um, we only won two of the five we did 339 assists and yeah i just don't think i'm going to end up marking this thing man so we're at 89 percent now like it's a fun td but i'm just not gonna i'm i get really mad when i want to three mark things right and i think i just have to humble myself and you know just say like all right 90 percent like um if i can keep this thing at 90 percent, i'm pretty happy with that and then the three mark would be a bonus so that's all for the Waff waffen trager off panzer four right guys the waffle panzer is what i call it and a lot of people call it and um, we'll move on to something else i'm going to give you guys probably one or two more sessions today and i will see you for those take care bye bye now